Your Toyota BC Dealers presents BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Uh, hey, all right. With your host, Mike Mitchell. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by Rapala, Yamaha, Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, Port Boathouse, Pacific Salmon Foundation, Loran, North River Boats. Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. We got a special show today. We're not even gonna lie about this. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is gonna be fun. So we got, we're doing a crossover show. We're yeah. filming sport fishing adventures and BC Outdoors in the same area, same day. We're having, gonna have a little competition. Yeah. We've got some special guests. We got the guys from Bonchovi out with us. We're in good hands. We're gonna have some fun today, right? We are. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're in you know sort of my home waters here, sure. downtown sure. Vancouver. Sure. You brought your boat. We'll be out on the Grady with yep. uh, with our guys from Bonchovi and see if we can't find some fish. So let's introduce your guest first, and then we'll introduce yep. my guest. Well, my guest is a guy I've been trying to get out fishing for quite some time now. One yep. of my favorite ex Vancouver Canucks, longtime NHL defenseman Yerky Lume. Nice. Nice. Welcome to the show. Thank Good you. to finally have you. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks for Welcome. Me. Great to be here. And I have uh, I got Mike Brown, part of one of the, one of the biggest trades I think back in the day, yeah. the beret deal. Yeah. We're from Florida, so and a local guy. Yeah. So it's just great. So Mike, come on in. Welcome to the show, Mike. Good to be here. Yeah. Sam Brown. Yeah. Sure. So we got. Uh, we actually got the makings of a great offensive line here. Do you play <laughs> football at all, Mike? Ever? Uh, I never had the chance, but always. He plays fantasy love football. It. All right, well, that's oh, good. That, yeah. That's good then. So, we, like I said, we got Bound Chovy guys, yeah. decent fishing around. So, let's let's get the boat in. Let's it's start time. fishing. And we'll Sun's come. up. The other thing is, I know on your show, which is great, you guys do a, you know, a bit of a bat and a consequence. Yeah. Let's come up with something, because I'm feeling we'll come that. Come up with something. You know, BCO versus Sport Fishing Adventures. Yeah. I, I like our odds. You know, know what? I, I like think, I like big know. big reds pretty lucky this year, so I yeah, like our odds. So, you, you, you but well uh, I, I'm feeling confident to make a bet. Well, you know what? I got the uh, the skill in from Finland. Yeah. You know, we got a little bit of the local knowledge. Yeah. We're gonna you know we're gonna talk to the boys right. from the Bon Chovi guys and see if we can't come up with a good uh, a good bet okay. and a good little contest. But uh, okay. we're gonna have some fun. Let's go find some fish. All right, sounds good. All right. I don't know all the sport fishing adventures boys have anything on yet. Brought up, Mike. Brought up, there you go. You good? Yeah. Okay, try to keep him out the back. How's it feel, Mike? Feels good, feels good. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Okay, so if he's got to go, he's got to go, right? Yeah. That was a good start. Look at the gold on the tail, yeah. you know what that is, right? <laughs> Bust up the knuckles a bit more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a few years. Yeah, nice. This is where the, this is where the, 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 the bronze side of your hockey needs to to subside and the yeah. finesse part needs to come up. <laughs> the finesse yeah. part of hockey. You should feel the head shakes, eh? Yeah. That's wicked. That's just on the regular flasher. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Keep reeling. Sweet. This is a great start. Yeah. And I don't think the other guy's got anything going on. He's just oh. following these flashers. We got a. We got a good view right now. Yeah. Look at this. So this We're is not the best there part. yet, though. Stanley Park. What are we? Ten oh, minutes from yeah. home. Okay. So once you get going here, so you're good. Just keep the tension up on him. He's gonna go again. Yeah. He took a peek and yeah. said bye. Yeah. So when you get him up to the to the flasher and the bead there, you're gonna yeah. like leave him with that much, and then just okay. take a couple steps back. Yeah. And then I'll get in there. I got a pretty long uh, handle here on this net. I think we're okay. Famous last words, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna step right in here, and yeah. you're just gonna reel and listen to what I say, and don't worry about it. Uh, there we go. Okay. We're just getting his head up out of the water. We've got a fairly long leader. Okay, bring him in. Good. He's not ready yet. That's a gorgeous fish. There you go. Okay, he's not ready yet. Oh. Good, good. That's okay. I said hi to you that time. <laughs> yeah, he's like, nope. Good, so when you get him up again, yeah, keep reeling in. And then we're gonna get his, once we get his head turned up out of the water, okay, reel up, reel up, reel up, reel up. Lift up now, lift up. Yeah! <laughs> Boom! There we go, buddy. Look at yeah. that. 
Nice. Woo. <laughs> nice Thank job. you. All right, let's get them in the net and let's uh, let's show the folks here what we got. Well, first fish out of Vancouver, I'm gonna say. Absolutely. Nice. Good start. Oh yeah. Nice Chinook. Jay, what do you think? How big? Around 1920. 18, 19, That's 20. not a bad start. And I noted, I couldn't help notice the other boat, SFA boat, went by. It looks quite jealous. <laughs> they, they did, they did. I think there was some jinxing going on yeah, there, but so. we battled through it. I wonder if they know that we hit a bunch of bananas on that boat when they were looking. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> nice. death over breakfast. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's throw them in the box here, Mike. Let's get those uh -huh. rods down and let's get some more here. Good job. Thank you. Hey! How you guys doing? So they are, they're all hooping and hollering over there. They're all excited because they got a fish. Wow, big deal. You know, it's early yet. They think they've won already. But they don't know. You know, it's a long day. We're just getting started. It's all good, man. We let it's them think good. that way. That's, uh, that's good. We'll that's lull good. them into a false that's sense right. of security. Yeah. That's right. It's all good. We just Beautiful started. Day. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We'll let them get all excited on their big red boat over there. We're all good. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming. I don't like seeing that, though. <laughs> I believe. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Closed captioning is fueled by the Sport Fishing Institute of BC. Stay in behind them because it's brown for two. Lost. Yeah. <laughs> Something to do. This is the second. This is the second fish we've had on it. It may not be a salmon. But Jay, you're saying though. Do you see it? Oh, that's a little yeah. dogfish, yeah. But you're saying too, there's lots of dogfish in here. It's not normally like that, right? Yeah, for some reason we've seen a lot of dogfish that are kind of yeah. a foot long, two feet long. Yeah, you which know, are I, a lot I, smaller I, than I that. Even that one. Look yeah. at that. That's not very big at all. I haven't seen, we haven't seen a lot of dogfish on the show, so we should just show this to see if people yeah. have a look at it, see what they are. We're not targeting these guys, but this is what's in the water here around here, right? I think you're having them here. Ah, kind of cool. Watch your eyes, guys. Yeah. Just if you walk them back, back there, up, Mike. There you go, Mike, yeah. There we go. Perfect. You ever caught a shark before, Mike? Uh, no, it's <laughs> no, for shark. This is a dogfish, or a, I think a spiny dogfish is the, the correct term. Look at his nose almost looks yeah. like clear. Hey? Okay. Yeah. And then on the back there's a few spines there oh, too. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotta watch so those. if he gets stabbed with them, it's kinda like a not a good thing. No. Kinda like cool though. Not what we're looking for. But again, that's technically two fish in the boat. It I wonder how the boys in the other the other boat are doing. <laughs> cool. Alright. You go on. Enough of the science lesson. Let's catch some salmon. Sounds good. Sport Fishing Adventures, Sport Fish Adventures. Uh, sorry, give me a minute. We're uh, just, uh, you know, cleaning things up after catching a monster. So how many dogfish have you guys brought to the boat already? Uh, two dogfish, one Chinook. Excellent, and who reeled in the, the Chinook? Do you seriously think that I'm gonna let someone else <laughs> reel in the first fish? Well, I did. Hey, Brown did a good job. He got a nice one. I think he's probably pushing 19 pounds. Seriously? 19 pounds? Who made your scale? Well, the, <laughs> we won't get into scale. Scales is a touchy subject. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are, we're 1-1 one, one right now then. And uh, I think we're going to have to figure out what are we going to do as far as the bet. Because it, it's on now, right? Oh, it's on. And now, but what is it? Is it the number of fish? Is it the biggest fish? How are we gonna, uh, what's the competition? Well, I think we have the advantage now that you've told me you have an 11 pounder and we have a 19 pounder. So we're gonna go by weight of the fish. I did not actually tell you how much our fish weighed. All right, well, I'm still gonna go with the weight because I'm quite confident. I saw that that fish almost slipped through the holes in your net being so small that uh, I'm, I'm confident with the size of our fish. So you are going to manipulate the rules. You're going to take advantage of the fact that you're the show creator and, uh, and manipulate the rules to suit yourself. Well, it's like the rookie and veteran thing here. So I am the vet and you are the rookie. It's not often that I'm the rookie, but uh, <laughs> Eric, what do you think of that? Uh, 
they are full of it, but you know, well. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we have to uh, allow you to manipulate the rules. So another thing that I'm usually the one doing. So okay, so I've come up with the rules. You got to come up with the consequence, and if you want to get back to us on the consequence, that's fine. But uh, uh, yeah, we're good to go so far. All right, I'm going to consult the Finnish assassin over here, and uh, we got a couple ideas. We'll see what we come up with. All right, good luck, guys. Quick catch the fish. Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. So uh, today on Learning with the Pros, we're going to be talking about late season tactics for staging fish off the mouth of the Capilano River. Quite often what happens on, on these fish that are approaching the river is they'll come into the river mouth area and then just stage and they'll hold. So. Since it, it's kind of late season, they're not really on the feed. They, they've kind of almost completed their final migration and they're basically just holding off, off the mouth, just waiting for water and then they'll continue up. Since they're not feeding, a few things that we use uh, to our advantage are typically things like, uh, like longer leaders. And we'll also use, uh, use things like scent as well. Today we're using uh, a, pro, a Procure scent. There's a, a bunch of fish there but they're not always feeding as mentioned before. So just those little, those few little details will, will uh, give you success. For more tips like this, check us out in next week's episode. Drop your anchor, we'll be right back. Fish on, let's get back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Okay, Sport Fishing Adventures, Sport Fishing Adventures. Go ahead there, BC Outdoors. You sound like a lounge singer over there. Are you guys having a good time? We're having a great time. We're just, you know, we're just hanging out over here catching fish. Look at that. I can see you going by right now. How many fish have you guys actually hooked and reeled in? Uh, we have two that we have hooked and reeled in. Chuck? Yes, sir. So how are we looking for size right now? Do you guys got any big boys, any contenders? Uh, I think we got, uh, we got one. We got one that uh, might give you a run for your money. We're, what are we going to do here? What's the, what's the, uh, the consequence to the loser? All right, so here's the deal. The, if, if I win, you will publish an ad in the magazine explaining that you have been beaten by myself and Yerky Lume of Sport Fishing Adventures TV. All right, and when I win? If you win, See, I yeah. will bring you into this into the TSN radio studio and basically endorse BC Outdoor Sport Fishing and Mike Mitchell. So when this happens in the next little while, because it's gonna happen. Well, it's gonna be a big, beautiful picture of Yerky and I with this silver slab. <laughs> oh, fish on, sorry, we gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Okay. It's all right. More meat to the table, Michael. Oh, yeah. Oh, where oh, are we here? Okay, watch the plaster. Oh, oh yeah. Give me a coal. Ah, that's all right. Back up more, back up more. There we go. Look at that, more meat. Oh, terrible. <laughs> Got mouths to feed both of us. So. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Mike. Thank you. Awesome. Good job, Jay, again. Sweet. Yeah. All right, so uh, not bad. This will be great for the table. Absolutely. And it, he looks quite small next to us, though. No. Wow. <laughs> just, in perspective, I, I folks. Think there's a few tunas that may here, look small here, next so, to us. So here's a full-size flasher. There you go. Now you yeah. see how big he is. Oh, that's, that's oh, a, mic yeah. a micro flasher, too, oh, by the way. Dang. Anyway, that, that'll be great for uh, every time. Great for the barbecue. Yeah. And a little hatchery, too. It's a bonus thing to get a hatchery hoe out of here. So yeah. that's good stuff. A little mark there. there. Yeah, a little before, mark. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's put them in the, the locker. All right. Should we get a hold of these jokers? Because I think Absolutely. they're snagging dogfish out there, so they can't be that busy. All right. Uh, Sport Fishing Ventures, BCO. We're uh, done reeling in that fish. You got a size on that fish there, BCO? Uh, we do, but it's, it's a coho, small hatchery coho, so it's a, it's a bonus fish. But it is a salmon, so we're, we're good. We got three salmon in the locker now. Uh, 
Well, that's excellent that you have three salmon in the locker. We have one. Are we going total weight of fish or just the biggest fish? <laughs> you were the one who set the rules, who manipulated them to your own benefit. So let's let's recap again. So it was total weight of all fish caught. Uh, that would be no. I'm going to cut you off there. It was single biggest fish wins. All right. So the deal is, if if you guys happen to pull one out here, you get an ad in the magazine with you and Yurke, and I'll just have to kind of put a little piece in there saying, um, winner of the uh, first ever BCO SFA mini derbies. When we win, we get to have some studio time with you and, and the Moj down at the TSN studios. Correct. We will bring you into the studio. We can talk about what you guys are up to and how you, you know, you beat us and that you're better than we are. And then you'll wake up from this dream and be looking at a beautiful <laughs> ad with Yerky and my smiling faces. All right, done. All right. Uh, well, we'll see you at the dock, Mr. Burns and Mr. Lume. The deal. Deal. Let's see it. Show it if you got it. Oh, let's hope it's not big. Jay, you better be able to tell. Oh, ours is bigger. Ours is bigger. Ours is bigger, right? I think so. I'll just hold up the one I caught. Is he holding up a fish look small? I thought it was a bait. Is he holding yeah, up a bait? He is. I think he's holding bait. Yeah. Mike can make any fish look small. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I think we got him. Oh. I think we got him. No doubt. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Drop your anchor. We'll be right back. Fish on. Let's get back to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. Tackle and gear. Here is what we've been using on the water today. Hello folks, we're gonna to talk to you about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, first of all, we're in downtown Vancouver, so you can hear the, the noise behind us, all the construction and stuff, right? Kind of neat, unique fishery. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. So the rods of choice today were 10 and a half foot uh, Rapala. These are the classic moochers. Uh, I run medium light rods. They're just great for sensitivity. You can see the pickup right away and, and they do their job. Uh, the reels were shift reels. These are large arbor reel. Um, great pickup on it, good, good drag system. And the line we're putting on is 25 pound Suffolk line. Um, you know, and, and then this is where we kind of come in. To, we got to rely on the local guys that are out doing it day to day, right? So I brought, we talked about it before. Normally it's, I bring a smattering of tackle down to fish with you, but this time I brought the whole boat. So I brought the 27 foot North River down for us and have at the tackle, right? So, sure. <laughs> so let's talk about stuff that we used here, some of the stuff. Yeah, so um, we basically had a variety of, uh, of UV and uh, and also uh, some glow as well. Yeah. We were fishing fairly deep, so that's kind of where the UV yeah. and, and the glow deep uh, glow tape uh, comes in. Um, it's it's pretty important. Yeah. We also added uh, some broke here. Yeah. Uh, kind of nuclear green color here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it definitely worked uh, on a couple of fish, and yeah. it just added added a little more flair to the bait, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Same thing. So we're running in Reese Davis teaser heads. Yeah. Tandem hook setup eight and a half foot liters which is a lot longer than i usually run on bait for sure and again that's just that's just to get into this this type of a fishery too uh 30 pound suffix full art carbon yeah and like you mentioned pro cure and, and I, a couple fish and i don't know if you saw it or not but i was sticking some uh pro cure anchovy super gel down down the helmets and stuff and it actually hooked up we ended up hooking up on one for sure definitely so it probably does it does help for sure for sure um like i said before too we're fishing off the north river this is your first chance to be on our brand new boat this year and lots of room on the deck and of course you know, Mike and I aren't small men. So 
There's lots of room for shoulders, camera gear, <laughs> and everything else, right? Yamaha 300 to get back and forth, and then the kicker too are running 25. There's there can be quite a tide in there, right? So this boat needs a little bit more horsepower to push around, right? Definitely, yeah. It handled well in a big dance floor too. Yeah, yeah, which exactly. is nice. Yeah, huge dance floor back here. And then I think one of the things that I that we noticed is we were constantly on the sounder today and the, and picking up the low rants and trying to find where the fish. You could actually see them holding off the bottom a lot of yeah. times, but looking for depth, right? We're not want to always watch a cannonballs bounce. We're gonna know where we're where we are and stuff, so we're scraping right off the bottom, right? For sure. So of course, you know, all the good stuff on the boat, all the fishing gear, but you know, without getting getting down here, we had we had a fight, a little rush out. We were a little late. I apologize for that again. <laughs> it sucked. But uh, we we're lucky we were able to pull uh, pull the boat down with the tundra and the looks we got for a few early morning commuters was <laughs> yeah <laughs> was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, we're we're lucky to have the Toyota Tundra and that gets us everywhere we need to go. Comfort, safety, and reliability is non-comparable. There's nothing out there like it. So pretty lucky. Okay, folks, we're gonna follow up the quick list. We'll see it on the water. Girth. Yeah. 34 by actually 19 and a half. 34 by 19 and, and a half. half. Yeah. 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 Is that 34? 34. Wow. That's a. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Oh, you can pull it tight. It's not even the thickest point. Suck it in! All right. All right, so. So, how are we? Job, way to go. Thank you. Nice one. Good job. Thank you. That was great. All right, thank you. All right. I'll tell you what, seriously though, like. That is two beautiful fish. Well, I just want to, you know what, if you're going to beat us in one off, we'll just kind of slap these out here anyway, just to kind of show that you know, you, you, every dog has his day, but a true fisherman three goes for quantity, fishermen. like three for three on the boat. It's pretty good. Well, you know what, if we wanted to keep the minnows, we could have kept, you know, we could have yeah. kept one. Yeah, for sure. Well, that sucked. Yeah. Well, not the, not the day, but losing to those guys like come on i should have allowed them when they started speaking about quantity of fish i thought we already we already pretty much already had the big one in the boat when we made the deal <laughs> really i i spoke too soon i should have allowed them to make their deal we'd be laughing right now anyway thanks jay you thanks bet. for having us out as usual good job mike thanks for being on the show Appreciate lots it. of fun thanks, thank you all right thank you folks for joining us on bc outdoor sport fishing we look forward to having join us on a future episode BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is made possible by your Toyota BC dealers. Rapala, Yamaha, Freshwater Fisheries Society of BC, the Pacific Salmon Foundation, Port Boathouse, North River Boats, Low Rats, along with 